welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys this really quick green look with like a hint of gold in it. So I've been wanting to do like a green makeup look. I saw one on another YouTuber's channel and I've been wanting to do it. So I decided that this was the perfect time since we're pretty much in March now. Third month of the year already. It's so crazy. So... We're in March, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. So I said, let me just do this in case somebody wants to do a green look for St. Patrick's Day. I don't really celebrate St. Patrick's Day too. I've been wanting to do this green look, so we're gonna do it and um, with kind of like a hint of gold probably on the lash line. And the perfect palette for this look is the paint palette from Glam Light Cosmetics. I love this palette so much, guys. The palette that I use for my look for childhood cancer awareness in September. If you guys haven't seen the palette, this is what it looks like. And it's pretty much all the colors of the rainbow and the colors that like a paint palette would have. It's so, so beautiful. And the colors are super pigmented. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going into this green right here, this one right here, and then probably, I don't know if this one, but probably this one on the lower lash line. So I'm hoping it turns out nice because I've never done a green look like that. So I'm hoping it turns out nice. So we're just gonna jump right in and make this short and sweet. It's not gonna be like my usual sometimes where I'm like doing my whole face. This is just gonna be my eyes. And then I'll come back after my face is done and show you the final look. So we're just gonna go in with this from My Glam. And it's just like a blending, I guess, brush. So I'm gonna go into that first green. And that's gonna go all over and into the crease and a little bit above for the hooded eyes, you know. Here we go, guys. pretty good but I kind of want something a tad bit I think this is let's see this one this is from Luxie this is the tapered blending let's pack that green in there make sure it's very pigmented Right, that's what we got so far gonna go into the other eye all right guys that's what we got going so far what do you guys think that's what we got going so far. All right, so now I'm gonna go into the other green, which is like the glittery green, and we're going to do that all over the lid. It's called light green. So I'm gonna go in with this brush from Coastal Scents. I like this for like packing um, shadow into the lid. This is the BRCN02. <laughs> this a lot look how pretty that is guys I love it oh guys I am loving this color isn't that pretty so now I'm gonna go back with the other green to kind of intensify it a tad. Like it. 
All right, guys, so this is the green. I love it. It's nice and easy. This is not like a difficult look. It's just pretty much the green in the outer V all over the crease and a little above, and then the light green all over the lid. That's what I did right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then I'm gonna come back so we can do the gold on the lower lash line to give it that hint of gold. And then the inner corner would be nice too. So that would be good. So we're gonna do that. And I'll come back to show you guys the completed look. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Let me know if you guys like it. I'm loving the eyes. I did the gold on the bottom. I was gonna do it with you guys on camera, but I just did it and came back with my makeup done. <laughs> so I went a little overboard with the gold, but I definitely like it. It's a very, very nice look. I'm loving the green. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like this look. Let me know if you're going to be doing this look. I'm in love with it. I kind of want to do more looks like these using that paint palette. I'm in love with that paint palette. It's so nice. I love it. And it has like all the colors, all the colors, except like pastels, you know, things like that, because it's more like rainbowish and like bright, but it's an amazing palette. So I'm loving this. Oh, so the products that I used, I wanted to let you guys know what I use for my makeup. So for moisturizer, I did the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. You guys already know I love this. For primer, I did the Tula Skin Care Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Primer. This one is really, really watery. Not like my cup of tea, but it's okay. For my eyes, you guys already know that I used the Paint Palette from Glam Light. For my brows, I used the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil this time. And it's okay i like it for my foundation i used this one that was sent to me from buzz agent and lancome and this is the lancome foundation stick with the kabuki brush attached to it for concealer i used jeffrey magic star which i love for bronzer and eye brightener i used my alamar cosmetics bright and bronze palette and i used cafe con leche and this one for my blush i used this one i wanted like an orangey blush so i used pretty vulgar and this is the make them blush blush <laughs> in the color sweet revenge very pretty orangey color i love it that's that and then for highlight i used i wanted like more gold so i used the pure barbie the confident glow i love this highlight and then for my lashes i have the new makeup geek lash um la the extension effect mascara and bl rich black what is this rich black yes i'm really liking that You'll see a Mascara Monday on that one. And then for, I haven't applied setting spray. I'll do that with you guys now. For my lips, I have, I thought this was like the perfect color. I tried on like three different lipsticks, <laughs> but I thought this one was like the perfect color for these like very out there eyes. So this is the Fenty Beauty Thick Mademoiselle Lipstick and Thick. I love it. That's that. Very pretty color, like perfect for these looks. Cause I don't like nudes that are too nude. You know what I mean? And I'll apply some setting spray here with you guys. I think that's it, right? Yeah, I think that's everything. So I'll apply some setting spray with you guys here. And this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I love this one. So I'm not like too crazy with setting sprays because I don't really notice differences, but I think this one is a little better than all other ones that I've used, so. All right, my love, so that is the completed look for this St. Patrick's Day makeup, I guess. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys love it, if you guys are gonna be using it, I would love to know. All right, my loves, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye, my loves.